Hey guys, what is up the new Kibist here? Welcome to episode 11 of my Minecraft Falling Falling Survival custom map series. So, um, as you guys know, in episode 10 I had been recording for so long, my voice was starting to go, my brain was starting to go, but I just woke up from a good night's sleep, and uh, this is the day before I leave, and I'm just recording. So it should be pretty fun. I know what we are doing, we're completing a mob spawner. Uh, our inventory was absolutely packed, so we're going to have to go deal with that. But yeah, basically I'm going to cut a bunch of this episode and I'm going to drill out this entire area and then once we start building the actual spawner itself, I will film more of that because I don't think you guys want to watch me mine out a bunch of blocks. I really don't know. If that's something you really want to see, let me know in the comments. But for now, I'm going to store my inventory and then get back up there. One thing I do want to do is we have a ton of lapis and redstone. I'm going to go ahead and make these into blocks. I feel like that's going to make our lives a lot easier in that chest at least. Ah, uh, see that's much better. Now it's a lot easier for us to put those things up because we don't have like an absurd amount of some weird material like I don't know we had so much obsidian I don't know not obsidian sorry I wish we had so much obsidian I really wanted to get to the nether a few episodes ago but like I think that's something that's gonna have to happen slowly and I'm okay with that I'm okay if we don't finish everything in the series really quickly um, but yeah so over here you can see or you can hear all these cows um, I guess it's because we're all oh, this baby's trying to get back to his mama look I don't it's stuck I have to kill it uh, but as you can see, these cows, I guess since we're working on the mob spawner, we're close enough for them to spawn. So they're just sort of spawning, going crazy. We have so much beef, I don't think we'll ever really need more. I might start smelting some more, but we don't really have any coal, which is the only problem. Like, we don't have much coal at all. Um, I think what we're going to start doing is making charcoal, but none of our trees are growing. Really? Really, Minecraft? Really? You gotta do that to me? You gotta do me like that? Really? I'm not even gonna look at them. I'm like none of my trees are growing gross But yeah used to these would like grow in a giant they just I don't know We'll, we'll just wait for them to grow I guess but like what <laughs> literally the second I say uh, uh, Mine I don't know what to say. But yeah, I'm about to have a ton of fun I'm gonna dig out this whole area uh, if I find anything crazy. I'll come back on camera, but other than that. Ooh That's something crazy. Uh, where's my diamond pickaxe? Look at that. So, we're looking for obsidian. We have, this is the third piece we have, I believe. And, uh, so we're seven away from going to the nether, which is a good thing, for sure. I hope there's no lava under it. I don't think that's how it works, but, cool, we got obsidian. I'm gonna put that in the chest. I'm really scared it's gonna disappear, but yeah. Um, I'm gonna quit talking. I'm just gonna mine all this stuff out. And then, uh, once I find something pretty cool, I'll come back and show you guys. Or show you when it's done. Either way, we'll see. Also, I've been reading you guys' comments, don't worry, you see that I leave a heart on every single comment. If you didn't know, if you leave a comment, you get a heart. And uh, I do see, like, I know a lot of YouTubers don't actually see their comments, but I see every single comment. And it does take time out of my day, but you guys, I mean, like, I feel like I owe it to you to at least read what you guys say. Um, you guys said you can make sticks from bamboo. And you can, it works. Thank you for the tip, I really didn't know that, so... Thanks to everyone who suggested that. A bunch of people suggested that, so thank you. You guys know who you are, and I really appreciate all the help, guys. You know, somehow I've actually gotten a bunch of iron. Um, as you guys can see, I've made pretty good progress, and I'm trying to put the floor materials as something that could actually be the floor material. Uh, so I don't want to put, like, cobblestone on the floor, but we have two coal, which is good, but we have four iron ore. You guys remember when we, when we, when we mined out that first layer, we only got, like, in total, like, two iron or three iron. So it's good because I need to make another shovel, another pickaxe. I mean, you guys can sort of see I'm running low on my tools. And uh, I know iron is limited. Like, we don't have unlimited iron. So I think what I'm going to have to do at some point is uh, make an iron golem farm. So I'm going to need you guys' help with that because I genuinely have no idea. I'm not just saying that and fishing for comments. I have no clue how to make one of those. So hopefully you guys will help me out with that. Um, I will search some videos on YouTube, obviously, because I know you guys can't explain it all in, like, one little comment, because I assume they're fairly complicated. Like, I mean, they're, 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 like, really big, I think. I don't know if I'm thinking of the right thing, but I've seen Iron Golem spawners before on YouTube videos, and, like, they look pretty insane. So, I don't know if I'll be able to understand it from just a comment. Uh, but if you guys have any helpful tutorials, like good people you guys want me to watch, then I'll go ahead and watch those. I trust you guys. You guys know some good people on the tubes, the YouTubes. Uh, but yeah, let's make, let's make 
a shovel. We need more wood, too. Luckily, we're getting a pretty good number of every kind of wood. We don't have a whole ton of jungle wood, though, so I'm trying to use what we have the most of. Uh, it looks like it's going to be birch and then some spruce. So I'm just going to make sticks out of these and then make some more tools. So we're probably going to need, like, mm, probably two more pickaxes, too. And then I assume another shovel and then probably another shovel. I mean, I'm just future-proofing here. I don't want to have to keep crafting tools. Uh, but yeah, we had a shovel in there, but like it's not that helpful. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get rid of all these uh, We'll put these above here like this just to show that we're gonna use them um, I should have made an axe, but well do I have one more iron left? No, I don't it's okay, but see we have three obsidian now, which is pretty nice uh, But yeah, we're making good progress. Hopefully the mob spawner should be done. We will get a little bit of iron from the mob spawner um, albeit we don't get a whole ton just because you know zombies don't drop it super often uh, You guys are gonna say to make a drown farm, but drown farms don't work on Java Once you convert a normal zombie into a drowned it does not drop the loot of a drowned It has to be a naturally spawned one on Java to work So maybe at some point we'll try a farm like that But that could be a little difficult because of this world being so small But I don't know I'm, I'm willing to try a bunch of things on this world just because it's so cool uh, but yeah, back to the grind, back to the dig. Hopefully I'm not, um, I'm done before too long. Look at that, more iron. I'm telling you. Maybe the higher up we go, the better things spawn. I really don't know. Uh, but as you guys can see, we're more than halfway done. So I'll come back when we're close to done or if something crazy happens. And you know, I was worried for a little bit. Um, this map is, te it's technically possible. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. Um, it's technically possible. Um, that we will never actually run out of any material. I was thinking like well if I, if I don't get mending on my diamond pickaxe and I use it But at the top as we found out you can do somewhat of a block farm, although you can't really automate it um, We can go up there and just grind for a couple hours and hopefully get some diamonds Because they'll just sort of randomly replace the blocks that we break So we don't really have to worry if we ever run out of iron or anything We can still technically get enough to make a golem to do a farm but yeah, I was just thinking that as I was digging. We're getting really close. Only a little bit more to go, so pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, well, we're getting close enough where I'm comfortable recording it because I know it won't make everyone click away because they're like, ah, I don't want to watch this. You can still skip through it if you don't really don't want to see it, but I was going to talk about my plans for what the mob spawner are and how we're going to get that going. So I figure we can just do a typical sort of canal waterway thing and just a little drop in the middle. Um, I want to put the edges as cobblestone, or put cobblestone on the edges, I suppose. I guess however you want to phrase that, that's still technically correct. Uh, we've almost gone through this entire pickaxe. I mean, like, there's a lot of materials in one of these areas. I think we're almost getting close to where we won't have any more inventory space either. Uh, but usually this wouldn't take that long if it was all made of, like, just, you know, stone or all made of dirt or whatever. But because I have to switch between, you know, different tools so often, it makes it a lot slower than it actually uh, should take. Which, you know, it's not bad. But we do have a variety of materials now. I didn't really find anything else. I still have some iron. I have, like, two iron ore, but it really is rare. Um, as far as getting this cobblestone, I think our inventory is finally uh, given up on us. It's completely full. Now, once we get to the end, which, you know, this mob spawner is going to spawn every single sort of mob that can spawn because it is three blocks high. So, it's going to be a little tricky uh, because I don't know how to handle Enderman and a mob spawner, but I'm sure we'll get it worked out. Um, if, if worse comes to worse, we'll do a, a grid with slabs on the floor uh, just to make spiders not spawn. But there we go. Oh, how did I miss one block over here? Oh, that's how I missed one block over here. That goes up to the skyline. Well, how did that happen? There's also iron right there. There's also iron right there. Ooh, okay. So there's iron. Where is it? Right here? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool. Where else is iron? Uh, I gotta be very careful. I think it's... Okay, it's right there. Oh, okay, that, that's easy enough. But yeah, we can, we can find materials like that. I'll walk around the edge and we'll, I guess we'll just sort of see... Um, well, it's not the right material, whatever. Uh, so we'll, we'll walk around the edge and we'll see if we find anything. I just have to be very careful because I could walk off the edge so easy here. Um, okay. But yeah, anytime I find iron, I definitely want to get it. Just because... Did I get it? Nope. Did I get it? Yes. Uh, but you know, iron is not something that I have a whole ton of. So I'm going to make sure I get all the iron that I can find. Uh, but yeah, if we just walk around like this, we can, you know, you can find a pretty good number of stuff. I don't know if I'll find any diamonds doing this, but 
maybe you guys will say, Neo, you miss diamonds, and there's a very good chance that I will miss, like, diamonds or something, just because it is kind of hard to see like this. Yeah, I don't think I'm missing anything. Okay. All right. Well, what I'm going to do now, since I have this all done, is I'm going to... I'm not going to sort my inventory yet. I'm actually going to go around this entire thing. And uh, I'm going to build a little bit of a room, like, right here. Just so that I have a little buffer area to build and whatnot in. Because otherwise, I'm going to end up dying. But I'm going to go around this entire 25 by 25 area. And uh, all we're going to do is build the spawner. I may take the thumbnail shot. I may take the thumbnail shot of this entire thing dug out. You know what? I think I already had a thumbnail that looked like that. And when we were, when we, when we were building our first house, uh, yes. So I'm going to have to, I'm just going to fill it in like right there and let those blocks generate. I'm not sure exactly what happened there. I think sometimes bamboo sort of messes up the whole deal and I don't really know why. It doesn't really make much sense to me, but hey, it's not for me to understand. Oh, we don't have that kind of wood. Hmm. Well, it's rare. What do we have a bunch of we don't need? Bamboo. Bamboo. Can, I can spare bamboo. But yeah, what I'm going to do is go around this entire thing with this cobblestone. And then obviously build two more on top of it. And then we will have a dark room. Something like this. I just wanted to sort of show you what I was going to do. And this this will be a doorway. Hopefully we have enough wood to make a door. Looks like we do. Just make one set of doors like this. Put a door. And then do we have any... Okay, we'll put the doors in there. I have a feeling the doors will get blown off pretty early into this mob spawner's life. Because off the bat, I'm not really going to have any canals. I'm just going to use it as a fighting arena. But at some point, we will make it into an actual spawner, I promise. But yeah, I'm going to go around the entire thing and build this wall. And when I come back, it should be done. Well, I actually ran out of cobblestone. I was looking at my inventory. I'm like, I can't finish it. Um, so I'm going to go grab some cobblestone. I'm going to make sure this thing is as lit up as possible. Because if not, things will spawn in here like 100%. I should also get all the coal that I see. You guys are probably triggered. Like a lot of you say, Neo, I get triggered every time you pass a material you need. I agree. Like I really need to get back. Oh, is that a leaf? Can we get a sapling? No. Um, because, you know, materials, you know, that we're not going to have them forever. Uh, well, I mean, we can always mine out different layers and whatnot. But if I ever miss coal... Like, I promise, I'll do my best to get all these materials, but like wood and stuff, redstone, those are things I should just always get. I want to play around with redstone on this map, just because I feel like, you know, it's a new start for me. Um, but there's so many of these little ores, so I'm going to mine out all these, I'm going to grab some cobblestone, and when I come back on camera, uh, we'll be able to finish that wall. So let me make sure I didn't miss anything major. Mainly just coal, lapis and redstone, I have more than I know what to do with. If I ever need to get them, I'll come and get them, but... Yeah, I think that's all the coal, except for this piece, and then like wood is also really good to get. It's just you gotta train your eyes to look for like what you need, because I've mined out most of the wood that I see in the ceiling, but you know, I guess I have missed a pretty good bit. What is this? Ah, uh, it's that it was that hole. We discovered it. It was just a random hole that goes up, oh, that goes very high up into the sky. And I don't know why, but there's a bunch of those, like just all over the place, and that rhymed in an uncomfortable way. I mean, it was just something I had to say. There was nothing I could do. Uh, sometimes there's just certain words you have to choose. And uh, if I don't stop, um, I'm going to run out the clock. Okay, I can't. <laughs> I can't do it anymore. Okay, well, we'll put up all these materials, and then I'll get a clean inventory, grab some cobblestone, and we'll get going. All right, let's grab this cobblestone. Uh, I don't think we'll need more than that. It's probably a little overkill, but hey, it can't hurt to have a bunch of bunch of cobblestone when you need it so I'll get back up here and uh, we'll start building that wall all right I'm back let's go and let's build this wall you guys don't know but I actually went away for like 30 minutes but I'm back and you guys didn't even know so ha 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 but yeah it's almost done this wall is complete and once the wall is complete it's gonna be kind of interesting to be in here because things are gonna start exploding because of creepers um, I'll have to take these torches out and then we'll see if stuff spawns when we're at the home base as we come up. You have to be like 24 blocks away and I think our base is like 30 blocks away so it's absolutely perfect. And that means that we can just sort of sit in our home base area and have mobs fall onto us. Which is kind of cool if you ask me. But yeah, we'll go ahead and break these torches. We'll do a little dry run to see if it works without any water canals. And then we'll get to adding those and uh, it should be pretty cool. I'm already really scared. Uh, if you hear those little uh, spoders, those are actually from a spawner that's somewhere in the world. I don't know exactly where it is. Um, it's somewhere below this area, I believe. But yeah, see that torch technically isn't updating it uh, because we're not... Wait, where, where is this light coming in? Is it the redstone? 
Yeah, it's definitely the redstone. Okay, uh, let's get over into here. Let's shut this door. Let's go down below, and then we'll come back up and like, I don't know how long. Maybe we'll save and quit from it too. Hold on, let me try that. Okay, we've successfully saved and quit. We'll run around down here. See, the wood did grow. I think I just needed to give it more time. So we'll go mine. We'll mine this wood, and then when we're done with that, we'll come back up and we'll see what's happened. But I presume there's going to be a bunch of mobs in there. Um, and I want to get some water canals going so that they can just fall down to here. We can get their loot and whatnot. And uh, we can use bone meal. Okay, that sucks. Um, we can use bone meal. We can use really whatever. But do I have enough iron? No, I don't. Do I have any coal? I do, but wait. I have two iron. Uh, we can just smelt it with the stuff that's already in there. Perfect. Okay. Um, well, let's see. Let's see. How many are even left? Do I even need to make the axe to get this? No, there's not that many. Well, because by the time we're waiting for that thing to be done, we could have already broken all the wood blocks anyways. Now, hopefully these just instantly dissipate. It honestly depends on whether or not there are logs hidden behind where I built all this pretty cobblestone area. So I guess we'll just sort of find out. Yeah, we have this acacia tree, which is pretty cool. I've never uh, never really built with acacia wood in survival, at least. I've played around with it in creative, but never actually in survival. I don't know why. I think it's just because... Well, I don't really know. But I've never played around with it personally. But yeah, at some point I may remove the barrier on this map so that we can like build off to the side and stuff like that. Um, I don't know when that'll be occurring, but I'm sure at some point I may do that. I guess we'll just sort of find out. But let's see if these decay. I know I saw that one decay, but it's going to be like a 50-50 crapshoot because there might be wood somewhere. And it'll be kind of hard to find it, but if it worst comes to worst... Okay, please give me at least one sapling. Okay. Two? Okay. That's good. We got two. Can we get three? Can we get three? Yes! Can we get four? Yes! We got four. Can we get five? Please give me five. <gasps> Six? Dude, these things are crazy. We've got six saplings from one tree. Okay, well, we'll put these just, like, right here. Right? No, one over. One over. One over. There we go. Actually, you know what? That's technically the center. Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, as long as we get a few oak saplings, I'm okay. Did we even get any from this? No, we haven't gotten one oak sapling. Well, there we go. There's one. See, this tree is stingy, but the other the other tree is really not stingy. Okay, but we should go up there and determine if it works or not, but I want to get all these leaves mined first just to be sure. Because um, I don't want to lose saplings and have to go find them again. Yeah, okay, there we go. Okay, well, it's better than nothing. We actually lost saplings on that, but it's because they're not max efficiency, like with the spacing, but it's really not a big deal. Um, I probably should get a better sword now that I think about it, so hold on here. We have the axe, that's great, but I need a better sword. We've been using this stone sword for quite a while. Uh, we don't need all these tools either. We have a chest. Yeah, we'll use this for our tools, okay. So we don't need three shovels. <laughs> Not right now, at least. Um, we don't need that. Um, okay, let's go up there. Let's, well, you know what, we'll put up the wood. We don't really need all that wood on us. We don't need this. Um... And then we can put up some of the cobblestone, too. I need to mark the chests. You know, I have enough stuff to make item frames. That's what I should really do. Uh, but, yeah, it's actually kind of far away, as you can see. I mean, it's not incredibly far away or anything. But I do want to make this whole thing prettier, this ladder shaft I have going. Because right now, you know, it's a little plain. Yeah. Yeah, you guys hear him, don't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See what I mean about Matt? Really, Creeper? You guys see what I mean about max efficiency? <laughs> that thing is filled to the freaking brim, dude. Oh my god. What is hurting me? We gotta be careful, though, because things could start fighting in here and really mess stuff up. I'd love to go in there and, like, fight stuff, but, like, there's creepers right here, and the creepers are what are gonna get me. I'm fine with everything else. Oh! See, if that creeper were to explode, it... Well... Oh yeah, we should probably move this stuff. Hold on. <laughs> Don't want to have the diamond, the only diamond pickaxe we have and the only obsidian we have to disappear. So we'll put this into here, and I know this is the rare chest. We got three obsidian and one diamond. All right, we got to figure out a game plan because if I open that door, we're unleashing all the mobs on us. But <laughs> I guess we'll just sort of figure it out as we go. But yeah, definitely want to add water canals to this thing. <laughs> Just open the door, smack the creeper. Get out of here, bro. Oh, okay. That's cool, too. You can do that. 
But yeah, I need to have some like redstone lights in here or something, but I don't know how you craft those. You need glowstone, and I don't know. I want to go to the nether to see if I can get glowstone. Okay. I have to be so careful with the creepers and the mobs that somehow get through the door, but I think it's because I close it on their entity, so they just sort of like... Oh my god. Oh no, I need to close that. I need to close that. Okay. I really need to close that, dude. I really need to close that. I really need to close that. I really... <gasps> oh no. No! I'm such an idiot, dude. I literally ran off the side and lost all my stuff. Are you kidding me, dude? That was an iron pickup. Oh, at least we got our pants and three bones. Dang it. Oh, we got our helmet. But yeah, see, when you go off the side, it starts to poison you and it kills you. I hate that. I don't personally I'm not I'm personally I'm not a huge fan of it well there goes all of our iron we don't have an iron sword anymore we need to be more careful well I need I say we I need to be more careful we lost a bunch of steak some torches which we don't have a ton of torches so we do need to do this very carefully if it wasn't for that poison I wouldn't have died but you know I still probably still would have fallen but it would have been a more honorable death I'd say all right, well, we'll go back up there. There is a door in that chest if the chest didn't get blown up. But, like, maybe this was a bad idea because how am I ever supposed to clear out all the mobs? Um, oh, no, is the door still open? Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> I gotta rethink my game plan here. Okay. I really don't know how I'm gonna do this. Definitely need to kill the baby zombies. They're just... I hate baby zombies. Okay, well... Yeah. Oh, no. See, it hurt me like it knocked me off a little. But, like, I feel like it shouldn't just straight, like, kill you that quickly. Yeah, this this is gonna be... This is gonna be a problem. I'm trying to get all this sorted. Oh, see? Like, as soon as they knock... Oh, what the heck? As soon as they knock you even just a little bit, you just get destroyed. Hmm, okay, I definitely- okay, really, zombie? You're funny, dude. Get out of here. Okay, I'm gonna make some more leather armor since that's- we can honestly- mm, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this because we're gonna keep dying <laughs> if we- uh, if we- okay, what do I need to craft? Okay, boots and a chest plate. I can handle boots and a chest plate, right? Potentially. Okay, there's boots, there's a chest plate. I'll throw up all this stuff. Um, I need some cobblestone uh, to build this build this area back. Oh man, <laughs> this is tricky. This really is tricky. I'm I'm not faking this. Like I don't know how I'd fake this. I don't know what to do. I guess. Excuse me. I know you don't want to hear that, but I don't have an editor, so I will probably will forget to edit. I probably forget I even did that. Okay. Um. Yeah. See, <laughs> like as soon as I place. Any <laughs> see and then they knock you off the map and that's what does all the damage. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. I really gotta be more careful. Oh man. Okay, I might go and delete I might go and delete that part in the schematic. Hold on. Okay, I just deleted the the border function just because I feel like it's kind of annoying. Let's see. Okay, so we can hang off the edge, we can build off the edge now. Uh, it's not that like I wanna build off the edge a whole ton, but like I feel like you should be able to. I don't know why, um, but I feel like it's it's not cheating to go on the edge. I don't know why that the map creator did that, but no hate on you, map creator. I still love your map so so much. That's the only thing I didn't like, and like some people may like it, and that's fine. But it kills me a lot, and it's not that I want to make it easier for me to not get killed. Oh man, is there a ladder missing? Okay, I need to form a wall in here, just so things can't get in here anymore. Okay. I gotta do this slowly because as you can see there's creepies and crawlies and I don't know how okay I just watched that happen dude that's my fault okay here we go I can put a door right there <laughs> our little area is kind of messed up now but I think it's okay uh, we didn't need that big of an area anyways but it's gonna be like you know what I mean it's gonna be literally impossible for us to see that's so much better okay so now I've got to attack them Little by little, and just so slowly kill them, I guess. It's just a little difficult, as you guys see. There are so many things in there. Man. 
creeper, quit it. Okay, this creeper is going to drive me up the wall. Then again, no one really likes creepers. I think it's dead. If I can get the skeletons to attack each other, that's great. Because no one likes a skeleton. All they do is have aimbot and shoot you. Um, okay, so I have a door. I'm going to put the door right here. I don't have a pickaxe, though. Alright, hold on. We need more ladders and more pickaxes. See, but now I can fall like that. And it's still, I'm going to have to get used to it. I'm not going to build, I don't know, I'll decide. Let me know, do you guys think it's cheating if I start to build outside the border? We don't have any iron anymore. Aw, oh, man. We don't have any iron. Well, I guess it's the back to stone pickaxe ages. <sighs> I shouldn't have wasted my iron like that and just died. Did I put it in here, maybe? No, I definitely didn't. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. We did lose our iron pickaxe, but... I guess it could have been worse. I guess it's always a good way to look at it, but I said I wouldn't build off the edge. I have this little platform here, but I'm not going to build anything like big off the edge. I will go ahead and remove this though. We don't really need it here, but it is nice to be able to walk over here. Hopefully I didn't break the map by deleting this, but whoever suggested I delete that uh, MC function file, thank you so much. I really do appreciate the help. I didn't know how data packs worked, but I sort of looked around in the file system there. It seemed pretty it seemed pretty easy to understand. Um, I think those functions are you can edit them pretty s easy. You you'd, ha you'd have to have some programming knowledge uh, to be able to do it well. But, you know, I don't have any programming knowledge to speak of, but I th like to think I'm okay with things like that, at least a little bit. Now, as long as creepers don't come over here, we should be okay. I just need to get in there and light up this area a little bit. Okay, see, there's so many things in there. Like, so many things. Oh my god. <laughs> do you guys see what I'm dealing with? How do I do this? There's so many creepers. Hopefully we get a music disc from this, I guess. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, we gotta eat. We gotta eat. Okay, I'm gonna cover this up. I'm gonna build a little... We don't have a ladder. Um, maybe we can find some wood in there and get a ladder because we definitely need a ladder. Gosh, these things hurt you so much. It's just the skeletons. Like, they instantly, as soon as you cross the border, it's like they knew you were coming. And I understand their computer or whatnot, but shouldn't there be a little bit of delay on when they shoot you? Okay. I need to go gather a bunch more. Okay. And then wait for them to congregate. Oh my god, that's like four creepers. <laughs> like, you could... <laughs> I don't even know how to speak. Oh my god, just quit. 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 If the creeper explodes, it's not that big of a deal. It's just going to be annoying cleaning up their mess. <gasps> there is a music disc. We got to get it. We got to get it. Okay. Ah. Ooh. I don't know what music disc that is, but we'll go ahead and insert it into our chest. We got some potatoes. We can make a potato farm. Oh, my God. Just right off the bat. Like, the skeleton just shoots you every time. It's like, how do you, how do you aim that well? Tell me your secret. I already have 13 levels again, so this this mob spawner will work very very well. Man, these see what I mean? Okay, that's okay. It really doesn't matter. But you see what I mean? Okay, I hate having torches in my hand because as soon as you eat, they need to sort of they need to, to work that out a little better because it's not. I don't think that's exactly how they intended that to happen. Oh my gosh, there's so many creepers, dude. What? <laughs> Why are there so many? We're almost cleared. We've almost cleared out this whole thing, which is good. Skeleton, you're just OP. You need to get out of here. The creeper, it's okay if you blow up, actually. go Kill all your friends. Go ahead, do it. Do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just like that, you idiot. Come on, do it again. Is there a big hole right there, though, now? No? Okay. I need to be very weary of where I, uh, where I do these things, because... Oh, there is sort of a hole there now. Okay. Well, that looks like the last few mobs. I think there's a couple more after that. Oh! Okay, I'm I'm playing with fire right here. I really am. Okay. Are we good now? Yes, there's only a spoder left. A bunch of spoders and a bunch of bats, too. Okay, well, we'll go around here. There's a bunch of bats. Well, I guess we also have some sort of a bat farm. Uh, but yeah, no more of act... I'm not... Oh, wow. Yeah, these things spawn just like in an in an insane quantity. Um, okay, there's a creeper down there. That's okay. We'll take care of him. All right. Yeah, they really, really did blow up down here. Wow. Okay. 
Well, we'll have to repair this a little bit. Um, I want to make sure I fill it in completely. Um, I'll have to go get some more cobblestone. Uh, because if I don't fill it in, then things are going to end up spawning down in here. And that's ideally not what I want to happen. Oh, man. <laughs> things really went off in here. Okay, let me go grab some more cobblestone. We also need to grab a ladder. Actually, you know what? It makes a good break there. And it really doesn't matter if we could fall off the edge. <gasps> oh, my gosh. I should have. I should not be doing that. Um, we also need to smelt some more of this not smelt it but cook up this raw beef oh man oh man but yeah thank you guys for watching this episode um, I'll, I'll end it off by filling in this thing but um that's gonna be the, it for this episode next episode we'll actually build the spawner um it should be pretty fun we're just gonna do some standard water canals and uh, it should be hyper efficient that's at least the hope um, I mean with how many things we saw in there from like literally like a couple minutes of us being down at the home base I think we're gonna be good. I think we'll see a lot of spawns in here um, Which is definitely a good thing. Yeah, there's still a couple spiders in here and whatnot. Hopefully I grabbed enough cobblestone uh, But yeah, we'll end the episode off with me just filling in this big old hole that was created by creepers Thank you shout out to the creeper clan um, For hanging out with us and just sort of oh man Creepers just love hanging out together and uh, blowing your entire world up. So, shout out to the creepers. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching this series. You guys have been supporting this series so, so well. Uh, I'm sorry that I haven't seen any of your comments yet. Um, after episode, I think it's like, no, is it episode 5 that I've already uploaded? It's either episode 5 or 6, but I've recorded like 5 or 6 of these in a row. So I haven't been able to see your suggestions, but hopefully you're happy with the direction the series has been going. Because um, I can't see your comments because I'm recording all these before I go out of town again. So, I wanted to make sure we have daily uploads for you guys, and, uh, well, we isn't me, but I wanted to make sure we have daily uploads. Okay, almost filled in, and then, oh, good. I'm glad I brought enough cobble, I was kind of worried, but yeah. With that, I bid you guys further ado, further ado, without further ado. I think that means without, like, talking anymore, we're gonna get started. I don't know. English language is still very confusing, I've spoken it my whole life. But I don't, I don't think that's English. I think that's a French thing. Uh, I don't know. But yeah. Um, I'll get started next episode with finishing the spawner. It should get finished next episode. It's really not that much more work to do. I'm just trying to make sure there's no, like, holes anywhere. Yeah, Spoder, get out of here. You're trash. You're trash. Okay. Why did these things fall? I don't know. I think because a creeper exploded and let him fall. Something like that. Alright, cool. Anyways, I'll see you guys in episode, I don't know which episode, I forget, I think this is episode 11, I really don't know, but I'll see you guys in the next episode. Alright, bye!